One of the topics people struggle with in the APMP is, is configuration management. Uh, and that's because not many projects need the formal control that you get from configuration management. It's about controlling the design and making sure all parts of the design move together step by step. So it's a technical process. Um, <clears throat> about controlling the drawings, the bills of materials, uh, the documents that, that constitute the design. So typical documents you would control would be the specifications, the requirement specification, the functional specifications, and then all the drawings and the parts lists and the tests that go with that. So it's not just documents, it's, it's everything technically associated with the project. And the steps involved are, are, uh, can be remembered by Pixar, P-I-C-S-A, Pixar. Not in the, not in the um, video company, but almost. So P stands for planning. That's setting up your configuration management system at the beginning. Um, it's usually a database, or it can be a filing system. How are we going to number documents? What's going to be the version control process we're going to use? What document templates are we going to use? All that sort of stuff. I is for identifying all the parts that we're going to control in this formal way. So that would include all the drawings, all the uh, design documents, specifications, but not maybe the risk register, and not maybe the budget, and not maybe uh, emails and letters. So it's the formal things associated with the design. C is the configuration control. That's controlling the changes that happen to documents by issuing a change request or raising a change request before any design document is changed. And these, these might lead to commercial change, but they may just be changing the colour of a, of a of a wall from green to, to purple. It's not going to cost any more, but it makes it fit with our corporate colour scheme. So they're technical changes. Um, and you can imagine there's, there's lots and lots of changes that might happen in a project. And so S stands for status accounting, and that is making sure that we're keeping track of all the changes and the changes that haven't been done and the latest drawings and, and which have been updated and which have not been updated. And finally, we need to make sure that all this information is aligned and, and, and makes sense. And, and that's what A is. A is auditing. It's checking that the configuration documentation all fits together and that we haven't got any open change requests that haven't been processed properly. So, so that's configuration management. And the way to remember the process is Pixar, P-I-C-S-A.